I'm going to continue my series on panini for a couple of reasons. One is it's summertime. I don't feel like doing much cooking. Sandwiches to me are good this time of year. And the second reason is I need some short, small videos to work with because I'm learning some new software. And these little videos make it easier to learn the features and so forth. So what I want to do today is I want to make a grilled chicken panini with some sun-dried tomatoes on there and some Romano cheese, but you can use Parmesan. So let's make this panino. If you've made something like veal scallopini or chicken scallopini, you know one of the steps is to flatten the chicken with a mallet or something. If you have a tortilla press, you can flatten the chicken more easily, as I shall demonstrate. I have some parchment paper here. Tear off a piece and fold it in half. Place it on the tortilla press. I have a single chicken thigh, a fairly small one. Arrange it between the two layers of parchment about in the middle, or maybe a little toward the fold or the hinge. Close the press and apply pressure. You can rearrange it a little to press it more evenly if it's really necessary. And that is my chicken scallopini. Because it is so thin, it will cook quickly. Next, I want to season the chicken. I have some of my finger licking chicken coating mix. I mix up a lot of it and put it in a large container to store in my cupboard. That way, I always have it on hand when I feel like making fried chicken. I even keep the formula on the container. I'll try to remember to put the formula in the comments below, or you can find it on my website, Finger Lickin' Chicken. I'm going to sprinkle a little of the seasoning on the chicken, then maybe spread it around evenly with a knife. Flip the chicken over to season the other side. Again, try to spread it evenly. Or you could put the seasoning on a plate and dip the chicken in it, or put everything in a Ziploc bag and give it a shake. As you've seen me do in my previous panini videos, I like to use these square rolls sold at Costco. I trim the top and bottom a little because I like to toast the inside and the outside. These rolls are pre-split, but not all the way through. So I finish the splitting with a knife, and there is my bread, ready to toast. I've been heating a cast iron grill on my induction cooker. Because it's cast iron, it takes longer to heat up, but it holds heat better than an aluminum pan, which wouldn't work on the cooker anyway. I'm using a laser thermometer to monitor the surface temperature. It's hot enough to toast the bread, so, I butter the inside surface of each slice, and I'm placing the bread, buttered side down, on the grill. Wait until it toasts. I think it's time to check this bread to see if it is toasted enough. Eh, it looks good, but I think I'll let it go a little longer. Okay, this bread is looking pretty good. To help protect against cross-contamination, my cooked food is going to my left. The raw food is on my right. Now, I'm ready to place my flattened chicken thigh on the grill. And as I said earlier, because this chicken is so thin, it will cook in two to three minutes per side. The cooker is set to heat the grill to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 175 degrees Celsius. That's medium high. This chicken has been cooked on both sides. This should be done, cooked all the way through. I'm ready to start assembling my sandwich. I'm waiting for my grill press to get hot on the stove. In the meantime, maybe I can clean this grill a little before I toast my sandwich. As usual, I buttered the other side of each slice of bread. Meanwhile, I washed my tongs because they were used to handle raw chicken. I also cut the chicken thigh in half because it was too large for the sandwich. Place the bottom slice of bread on the grill. Arrange the chicken on the bread. What I have here is some sun-dried tomato. 
that I soaked in some boiling water to soften for about 10 minutes. Then I chopped it. Arrange that on the chicken. Add some thin slices of Romano or Parmesan cheese. Finish with the other slice of bread and place a hot grill press on top. Sizzle, sizzle. That is toasting the top of my sandwich and melting the cheese inside. Now we wait. Remove the grill press to enjoy the look of toast. I'm checking the bottom and it looks good too. I learned from the previous sandwich I made a couple of frilly toothpicks helps hold things together for slicing. It also looks nice. Again, I'm slicing corner to corner because I think that looks sexy on a plate. And there is my grilled chicken and Romano cheese sandwich. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm ready to taste this. So there is my chicken sandwich. Can show you the top nicely toasted on top and nicely toasted on the bottom let's see how this tastes my chicken panino that's really good those the sun-dried tomatoes Add a little nicer flavor to it, so it's not just the seasoned chicken with the cheese. Lettuce and fresh tomato on this would be good. It's middle of the afternoon, so I guess I'm going to call this my afternoon snack. This is my chicken panino.